back to my channel. Happy Friday. I hope that you all had an amazing, amazing week. And if not, it's the weekend. So I hope that you have gotten your weekend off to a great start so far. For today's video, I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial for you guys. And I'm going to be using my Urban Decay Vice 3 palette. I mentioned on Instagram a couple of weeks ago that I had this palette and that I hadn't done any makeup tutorials with it, that I hadn't even touched it, and so many of you guys on Instagram were like, that's horrible, I can't believe you have that palette and you haven't used it. I know, I know, I know, I know. So as soon as I posted that and I saw all of your responses, I was like, okay, I've got to do a makeup tutorial with this palette. So that is what I'm going to be doing for you guys today. So when I sat down to film this makeup tutorial for you guys, I literally had no idea what kind of makeup look I was going to do because as you can see, this palette has so many gorgeous, amazing shades that you can choose from and literally so many looks that you can create using this palette. So I decided to do something kind of smoky but also on the bronzy side just because I feel like those are the types of looks that you guys enjoy watching the most and also because I feel like this is a look that can complement lots of different skin tones and will look good on just about anybody so I did want to do a look that a lot of you guys could try to recreate um, if you decided that you wanted to and that would look good and be a universal look so I think that I did that with this makeup look like I said it's very bronzy and smoky and then we've just got a pop of color on the lower lash line. Now this particular makeup tutorial is just a little bit more special than my average or my typical weekly makeup tutorials because this one is a collaboration with a new friend of mine here on both YouTube and Instagram. I actually met her through Style Hall and I don't think that I've actually officially mentioned to you guys here on my YouTube channel that towards the end of last year I partnered with Style Hall and through that I've been able to meet so many amazing girls who share that common interest in makeup and YouTube and filming and just all of the things that you guys see me do here on YouTube and so one of the girls that I met her name is Sarah and she goes by Makeup by Saz here on YouTube and she has a phenomenal YouTube channel does amazing makeup tutorials and that is who I'm collaborating with for this video today both of us used our Vice 3 palettes and created two different looks for you guys to give you a little bit of variety so as soon as you're done watching this tutorial I will have all of her information linked in the description bar below along with all the other things I always link for you guys down there so make sure that you check that out and then head over to her channel to check out her version of the look that she came up with with the Vice 3 palette and just make sure that you guys show her some love leave her some comments and subscribe to her channel and if you're visiting my channel from Sarah's channel welcome I hope that you enjoy this channel and feel free to stay a while so thank you guys so much for watching I hope that you enjoy this makeup tutorial please feel free to give it a thumbs up if you like it and share it on your social media with anyone who you think might enjoy it as well and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you will be the first to know anytime that I upload a new video for you guys so let's not waste any more time rambling on and on I hope that you guys enjoy and let's go ahead Ahead and get started. So I have already primed my eyes and the first palette that I'm going into is my Jaclyn Hill Favorites palette by Morphe Brushes. I'm picking up this warm brown shade and I'm just going to start to apply this into my crease. This is going to be our transition shade so I'm just using a big fluffy blending brush. This particular one is by Sigma and I'm just going to apply that back and forth into my crease. Next I'm going in with a Milani Shadow Eyes pencil. This one is in the shade Brown Deluxe and I'm going to apply this all over my lid and blend it out with my finger and this is just going to make for a nice base for the eyeshadows that we're going to be placing right on top of it. Following that, we're jumping into the star of the show, the Urban Decay Vice 3 palette. And the first shade that I'm picking up is the shade Broke Down. This is a really gorgeous bronzy shade and this is going to go all over my entire lid. And I'm just using a flat shader brush to apply this color. 
Sticking with the Vice 3 palette, the next shade that I'm going to pick up is called Rain. This is just a really nice chocolatey brown shade. I'm using a pencil brush to apply this color and it's going to go right on the inner and outer portions of my eye. I'm focusing the majority of the color on the outermost portions and then blending whatever's left over on the brush into the crease. And then once I've got that applied, I'm going into this rich burgundy brown shade. And for this, I'm going to be using a more dense blending brush and I'm just going to apply this right into the crease right below that transition shade that we applied earlier. This is just going to help to give our eyes a little bit more shape and dimension and just add a little extra something to the look as well as help to blend out the shadows that we just placed on our lid. And of course I'm going back in with my fluffy blending brush and making sure that there aren't any harsh lines and everything is blended seamlessly. Next, our Fashion Fly has landed on the shade Lucky. This is a gorgeous shimmery gold shade and I'm just gonna pick this up with my finger and tap it right onto the ball of my lid, the very center of my eyelid. This is just going to bring a little extra attention to the eye and give it a nice pop. And then I'm also, of course, going to go in and blend out any harsh lines around that shade that I just applied. Following that, I'm going to go ahead and apply my winged eyeliner. I'm using this liquid liner by Jessie's Girl, which I highly recommend, by the way. I got this in an Ipsy bag a while ago, and I have definitely been sleeping on this liner because it is amazing. So I'm just going to apply that as well as mascara and lashes, and then I'm going to move on to my face. So I went ahead and primed and concealed some dark spots on my face off camera, and now I'm going in with my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation, and my Sigma flat top kabuki brush. I'm going to be pressing this foundation into my skin and blending it out making sure to bring it down my neck as well so that I don't have any harsh lines around my jaw. Following that I'm going in with my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NC45 and I'm just going to apply this in an upside down triangle underneath my eye and blend it out with my beauty blender. I'm also going to bring any excess product down the center of my face to highlight those areas as well. And once I've got that product applied, I'm going in with my Holy Grail Ben Nye Banana Powder to set all of the places where I have placed the concealer. And the brush that I'm using is a tapered highlighter brush by Sigma. To set the rest of my foundation, I'm using my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Dark, and I'm just going to apply this to all the other areas where I did not apply concealer, and this is also going to help to blend out any harsh lines from the concealer that I just applied. Now for my brows, we're going to fill those in nice and quickly with the power of editing. Bam, those are done, and this is what we've got so far. Next up is bronzer and I'm using my NYX Matte Bronzer in the shade Deep Tan and my Flawless Face Brush by Bare Minerals and I'm just going to begin applying this to all of the areas that I normally contour as well as down the sides of my nose. For my lower waterline I'm using this pencil by Milani in the shade Aqua and then I'm going to go back into my Vice 3 palette and pick up that dark brown shade that we used on the outermost portions of our lid. And I'm going to use that to blend out that liner on my lower lash line. Now for an extra pop of color on that lower lash line, I'm also going to pick up this shade called Sonic. And I'm picking this up on an angled brow brush, but any flat brush that you have will work just fine and I'm just pressing that right into my lower lashes just to give an extra pop of color and then of course go back in with your pencil brush and blend that out. To highlight my inner corners I'm using the shade Last Sin which is just a really gorgeous shimmery champagne shade and I'm just going to apply that all over my inner corners and then of course apply some mascara to my lower lashes. For blush today, I'm using my Milani Rose Powder Blush in the shade Romantic Rose. And to highlight my cheekbones, I'm using my Tantastic Face and Body Bronzer, also by Milani. I will have all of the products that I use throughout the video listed in the description bar below, so don't you worry. 
Moving on to lips, I'm first going to line them. I'm using a mauve pink lip liner. This one is by Milani. And I'm going to line my lips first and then completely fill them in. And after I have them lined and completely filled in, the lipstick that I'm going to use is by Gerard Cosmetics. This is a new shade from their spring collection in the shade Berry Smoothie. And then right on top of that, I'm using Gerard Cosmetics Lip Gloss in the shade Shimmer of Hope just to tone it down and nude it out just a little bit. And I thought the three of these lip products paired together really nicely for a nice pinky nude lip. And then last but not least, I'm just going to set everything in place so that it will be locked and loaded for the rest of the day. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial. I had a lot of fun creating it and finally diving into my Vice 3 palette. As usual, Urban Decay did not disappoint. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought. And don't forget to check out Sarah's video as well to see the look that she came up with. I will have the link to her video in the description bar below as well as lots of coupon codes for you guys and all the products I use throughout the video. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.